Okay, so the solution for getting my hacko out to where I can reach it is this. I put it on drawer rails. And the uh, last, it just sits inside these little channels, which I think I'm going to come up with, uh, I think I'm going to put aluminum channel down instead because it'll come up a little higher and may actually frame the whole thing so it stays inside and doesn't wiggle around like this. <clears throat> but... It just, the elastic comes up and covers it right there. It doesn't touch any of the vents. Uh, it can't slide forward because the hacko slacks, slants backwards. And then just slides back into place. So it's neatly stored out of the way like I wanted it to. And yet, when I need to access the switch, it's right there on the side. Which, it's not plugged in, so. And the uh, power strip will actually be glued in place back there and the hacker will be plugged in along with that and its power supply and there will be one or two little outlets left over. The hacko's uh, stand can actually sit right here and remain plugged in all the time and uh, have a nice little storage spot. There we go. That's a pretty good solution. I was uh, a bit concerned about that.